Now, many people are on regular medication for a chronic illness, but according to our natural health guest this morning, not only could your condition be related to nutrient depletion, but the medicine that you are prescribed to help control your illness could be making you sicker. We welcome back to the Harvey Normal Lounge, Dr. Francis Pitsilis. Good morning. Good morning, Mel. So that's quite a big, a big call to make. So can you explain to me how a lack of nutrients in our bodies helps, leads to illness or disease? Well, in fact, we need our biochemistry to be right and our immune system to be right. So apart from our gut flora to be balanced, because we're 90% bugs and 10% human, we need all our vitamins and minerals to be balanced and we need our hormones to be balanced. So if you're lacking in a mineral or a vitamin, then you might be more vulnerable. So an example of that would be that people who optimize their vitamin C, zinc, selenium and vitamin D mm -hmm. do much better in the winter and don't get as many colds and flus. Okay, so we all, we all relate to vitamin C, always yeah. have some vitamin C if you're feeling like you're getting a bit sick, but there's yes. a lot more to it than, than just that. Yeah. Um, if we are well, what should we add to our diets then to remain healthy? Well, I think if we're well, we need to have a balanced diet that has a lot of green vegetables to get your B vitamins, and we need all the colours of the rainbow so that you can get all your different antioxidants, including your vitamin C. But you get your vitamin D from the sun, mm -hmm. so that's something that you can test and correct with your family doctor um, and um, in addition to that what you can do is have some fundamental things that I think everyone should have which is a good general multivitamin okay now a good multi doesn't have everything in it but we know from studies that people do better and they sleep better but it will have good bees in it some molybdenum for energy and some manganese and selenium for antioxidants. Okay, so that's what everyone should be taking. Yeah, Good or you can take, for selenium, you can also take two Brazil nuts a day. Oh, yum. Yeah. Okay. So fish oil, because we don't tend to have enough omega-3. Why is it black? I've well, never this, seen a black fish oil yeah, before. This particular one is specially made for the eye and the brain. So it's got a lot of DHA in it rather than EPA, this particular one. Okay. Um, and that I just happen to have that in the cupboard. And then vitamin C, big time, because we don't make our own vitamin C and we get drained really a lot. Right. I'll, look, virtually everybody needs magnesium. So mm. if you've got twitchy eyes, leg cramp or ringing in the ears, you should definitely add in magnesium. And a lot of people often have to add in zinc. Right. Mm. Now, for people that are on regular medication mm. for an illness, what do they need to be aware of? This is really, really important. So I, I was trying to think of the most important things that people use. Okay, so your blue inhaler for asthma right. depletes you of calcium and magnesium. But magnesium uh, relaxes your airways. Isn't that interesting? Okay. So isn't that interesting? Counterintuitive, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And um, the ACE inhibitor blood pressure medicines drain zinc. And zinc is one of those things that helps blood pressure. So you need to be aware of that. Now... If you're having a beta blocker for your heart, it, it can slow your thyroid, drain coenzyme Q10, which is important for energy and antioxidants, and melatonin, which helps you sleep. Now, everybody th knows about statins. They can drain vitamin D, hormones, coenzyme Q10, B12, zinc, and selenium. What are statins? Statin drugs are for lowering blood pressure. Okay. okay. So if you are on this regular medication, there are things that you need to be thinking about that yes. you might be depleted in. Yes. What if you think that your medication is making your chronic illness worse? I mean, what are your steps to do then? Obviously, you don't do anything on your own. No, you never do anything on your own. And very often, these are people on several things, and you must talk to your family doctor about it. Um, could this be doing this? Could this be doing that? You could al always look on the internet and take that information to your GP because GPs are more open these days. But you could always try just stopping one thing at a time with your GP mm -hmm. to see what that does. That sounds like some good advice and maybe look at taking some supplements to beef everything else up. Definitely some fundamentals. Mm -hmm. Great. Dr. Francis Pitsilis, it's always a pleasure to have you in the studio with us. If you'd like more advice, go to Francis' website as shown on screen.